Times now, Dana, and a financial question over the BLM founder. Oh, my gosh. This is such a devastating story for me to uh, talk about. So newly released tax filings revealed how Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Coulours had used charity funds to pay her friends and family large sums for various consulting services as well as a as well as charter a private flight. So these documents reveal that Black Black Lives Matter had paid a company owned by Damon Turner, the father of Cooler's child, nearly $970,000 to help produce live events and provide other creative services. Uh, and not just that, her brother received $840,000 yep. for security. Of course, this is on top of what we were talking the other day, the $6 million uh, house that they have that's got a swimming pool uh, that's that. And uh, also uh, one of the, the board secretary, who's the uh, deputy executive director, received more than uh, 2.1 million. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, so they, they got 90,000, uh, sorry, 90 million dollars in donations um, in 2020 because of what happened. They spent 37 million of it. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a good chunk of that has just been wasted. Because the house thing, you can make an argument that if you're going to have money sitting in a bank for long enough, you might as well keep it invested yeah. as mm -hmm. long as, you know, and property is not a bad investment, but cons consultation fees, less of a good investment. No, exactly. She's not, I don't believe she's involved anymore, like she's had to hand it over. But this was the first time that the that, that Black Lives Matter organisation has had to file tax returns because as, as a charity status. So this is the first time that people are getting to actually look into what they've spent their money on. And it just doesn't look good. And that money was raised in good faith could have gone to, it seems like a huge amount of it's been wasted. Uh, and it's a shame because there, you know, there were lots of people who really felt invested in, in that cause. And there were a lot of people at the time going, look, the, the actual cause itself is great, but we have to look deeper at the actual organization because they did have some very dodgy sort of, uh, you know, Marxist beliefs on their website initially and the same in the UK one. And it's a shame that that kind of overtakes the message, I guess. It is a real shame, but I think if we talk about charities in general, I'm sure that you remember the charity by, was it Sir Tom? Yes. I think it was his daughter who was trying to pay herself, what was it, 320000 for the year or whatever it was. So let's talk about charities and how they use funds in general. I'm always very surprised when you see charities that have buildings in prime real, like right downtown. How much of the money that you're spending in a lot of these charities actually go to where they're supposed to go. There's so many charities that have operating costs of 60% oh, sure. and above, right? So I think it's a good time for us to talk just about how mu how charitable funds are uh, used And also to overall. talk about how this person was super dodged. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and we have. Yeah, and yeah, we, we have. Did, yeah. yeah, we did.